To find the derivative of f of x equals the quantity of 2x minus 1 all over 2x squared plus 1 to the ninth power, the chain rule is required. The chain rule states that when you have a quantity to a power, you can bring that power to the front, decrease the power by 1, leaving what's inside the quantity unchanged, but then and this is where the majority of the work of this problem comes in, I have to multiply by the derivative of the inside of the quantity, which in this case is a quotient. So the quotient rule will have to be applied to find this derivative. The quotient rule states that the derivative of a quotient is the denominator unchanged, 2x squared plus 1 in this case, times the derivative of the numerator. And the derivative of the numerator here is 2. So the denominator, 2x squared plus 1, unchanged, times the derivative of the numerator, which is 2, is the first term in the derivative of 2x minus 1 over 2x squared plus 1. The second term, subtracted by or, or subtracted from the first term, is the numerator unchanged, which is 2x minus 1 in this problem, times the derivative of the denominator. And the denominator's derivative is 4x to the first power, all over the denominator squared, 2x, plus, 2x squared plus 1 in this case, squared. Now there's some simplification that can be done in the numerator of this derivative, and I'm going to perform that simplification on the right side of the screen. I'm going to distribute a 2. And that yields 4x squared plus 2. And I'm going to distrib distribute a negative along with 4x. So negative 4x times 2x is negative 8x squared. And negative 4x times negative 1 is plus 4x. Combining those like terms gives me negative 4x squared plus 4x plus 2. Now at this point, I want to realize that the 9 that's uh, in the front of this derivative is the same thing as 9 over 1. The quantity to the 8th power, where the quantity is a fraction, is the same thing as 2x minus 1 to the 8th over 2x squared plus 1 to the 8th. The numerator of the derivative, I simplified to negative 4x squared plus 4x plus 2. And the denominator of the derivative is 2x squared plus 1 to the second power. Now, at this point, I'm going to multiply across those three fractions that I've just written. I'm going to multiply the numerators. And across the bottom, I'll multiply the denominators. The numerator can then be written as 9 times 2x minus 1 to the 8th times negative 4x squared plus 4x plus 2. And the denominator can be written as 1 times 2x squared plus 1 to the 8th times 2x squared plus 1 to the second. These are like bases. So I can just write that base one time and add the exponents. This could be considered a final answer, and it's very much simplified. However, it is worth noting that the last quantity in the numerator, the last factor in the numerator, does have a common factor of 2 because the highest power is negative. Coefficient on the highest power is negative. I could actually factor out a negative 2. And if you would factor a negative 2 out to the front, that would result in negative 18 times 2x minus 1 to the 8th power times 2x squared plus 2x minus 1 all over 2x squared plus 1 to the 10th power. Either one of the things that are circled on the bottom row would be an acceptable answer. The one on the right is fully factored.